guys, what's up? Clue Deer Hacker here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to organize your dock. Now, your dock is in Macintosh. It's probably the main place where you would get your applications, or you'd be using the applications folder, which should launch in about a couple of seconds. So anyways, as you can see, my dock is very interesting. It is laid out differently than most people have. Um, as you can see, I have spaces in between my icons, and that is because I have certain categories for my icons, like for example, these are my web browser. That's just one part of it. This is my settings and my applications and stuff that I use for my system. That's on the left side. And on the right, unfortunately, I don't have a choice to this. This is most of my um, applications already open. So it's very interesting, in a way. Let me close that. And hopefully it won't crash on me. Now I also have another way of organizing basically my programs and my doc. So the first thing is I actually use a program and I'll show you guys how to get this um, the spacing between these actually before I do that. So to get the spacing between it I use a command in, um, in Mac OS X and basically I'm gonna do a zoom in here it basically writes it and then adds nothing to the title as you can see so there's basically nothing there all you have to do is open up terminal and I'm gonna clear the whole thing first and all you have to do is copy this link in and I'll put it in the description hit copy hit the new one you know paste it in obviously it'll refresh all my icons will go open unfortunately I'm going to close that and um, as you can see there is a space between these spaces and what I can do is I can end up dragging it as you can see if you can see here it's the um, little I don't know what to call that dust effect and I can drag that between my icons but in my case I just want to throw it out but as you can see if I do drag it in between I've got that space there but I'm just gonna throw it out so I'm just gonna empty it like that so that's a useful command and you can use that on um, Snow Leopard so that is a very nice thing don't want you guys to see that but yeah it just all you have to do is add that in the terminal so it's very easy to do now I'm gonna go out of here and I'm gonna close Google Chrome I don't see any point of having that open but I also use a program called Doc Spaces and as you can see so far I have a default which is my default doc a games category and my media so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to click games or use Apple II as mine so as you can see and right here I've basically already have my category of games and not only do I have this but I also have my games Angry Birds, Chopper 2, Full Deck Solitaire, Bejeweled and these are all organized again with the spacing these are um, other types of games here right that's on live a very very fun um, streaming game service for emulation and as you can see I have all the other programs that I've opened on the right because I, they're not really a part of this stock this is what I care about then I can just launch for example chess and it'll work fine so as you can see I, I got that pretty much set up and it's called doc space so I will leave a link it is absolutely free you can set up new docs I think you can have up to 10 so be quick and as far as what names you want you can buy it but personally I am using the free version it's working fine for me um, and I can switch to my default by just hitting the Apple one key so it's very easy to add just go in your preferences and I'm gonna close out of things like that and you can just hit add it'll make a new doc again open all your stuff up and it basically shows your default doc so what I can do is I can just get rid of half this stuff if it's obviously not open and make a new category and drag my stuff in so that is one sure way to organize yourself as far as the doc goes I don't need that I'm going to switch back to my default and delete the other one and what's really nice is it'll tell you the name of it once you switch so if I used the Apple one key command or Apple two and switch to my games and switch to my media and it's a very nice feature and like I said the, the spacing is nice if you're a person who prefers a visual reference 
there's also a way of getting a physical separator. Um, I will post that in the link. I'm not going to show you guys how to do that, but it's pretty much self-explanatory in the file. So that's pretty much it, guys. If you want to organize yourself within Mac OS X, this is definitely one way of doing it, especially with the dock. Now, as far as the Finder is concerned, before I go here, I have a program that adds tabs to your Finder. It's called Total Finder. Unfortunately, I don't believe it's free. I think it actually cost me about um, ten dollars, but don't quote me on this. It's a very, very nice feature, and I can add tabs to my Finder. I can even open up a new window, and as you can see, I have two. And I also have a program called so Cinch, which you can get on the recap app store that on what, um, you can do to organize your desktop or your dock. Uh, the first thing I recommend is using a script, like I said, in the terminal, which I will post a link to, which will basically give you a application that's not there. You can get rid of it, but in my opinion, it's great to space out your applications, and I will put that in the link. Anybody with Snow Leopard can do this. I think Leopard does it as well, maybe even Tiger. So basically, I can also get a program called uh, Doc Spaces, which will allow me to organize my docs with icons, and on top of that, I can add the spaces to it. So I'm going to switch back to my default because that's my gaming one. And as you can see, my editing fail right here. This is actually where we were supposed to be, but I didn't end up finishing. So, like I said, and the, sec the third thing and final thing that you guys should get is a program called Total Finder, and that is a very nice application that basically allows tabs in your finder, which keeps things more organized, in my opinion, at least. Um, actually, I lied. There's another thing um, that you guys should also get. It's actually at the App Store. Oh, I don't need to post the link for Cinch. You can get it for $7, and... If you have an iTunes gift card, you're all set. And as you can see, what it does is it snaps your programs together. So thank you guys for watching my videos. Definitely comment, rate, subscribe. And I will be making more videos for users or whatever you guys want. I will be also doing some iPhone videos as well. So take it easy, guys. Definitely comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will be doing more videos to come. Thank you.